Hello and welcome to a special edition of Inside Owl Athletics. I'm Quinn Kimmel and it's time to review our top 10 plays of the semester. At number 10 we start with men's soccer. The Owls were taking on Middlebury College on October 19th and were down 1-0 early in the second half. Keen State was awarded a corner kick. Dennis Fleming takes and Nick D'Alessio powers home a huge header. It was the third goal in four games for D'Alessio who would finish the year with a team high six. At number nine, we stay with soccer but move to women's action. The Owls were taking on Bridgewater State on October 23rd. Deep in double overtime, the game remains scoreless. Amanda Marshall with the hustle play, nicking the ball off a defender, and she keeps going, taking a perfect feed from Maya Baker and chipping the ball over the goalie to give KSC the victory. On to number eight, where we stay with fall sports and LEC playoff action. Keene State hosting Southern Maine in the conference semifinal on November 4th. The Owls had lost to the Huskies in the regular season, but Keene State made sure that they would not be beaten twice, opening the scoring as Grace Taylor races down the field before feeding Arini Stefanakos for the first goal of the game. Keene State would go on to take this one 5-2 and advance to the conference championship game. At number 7, we go back to men's soccer, where graduate student goalie Nate Howard made a pair of outstanding penalty stops. First against Castleton on October 13th, the Owls leading 2-1 as the second half is coming to an end, and Howard gets big to make the stop on Jacob Godfrey. Then on October 30th, a scoreless game against Rhode Island College, where Howard guesses correctly to stop Celine Kamara to keep the game scoreless. Staying with men's soccer at number 6, a pair of beautiful goals against UMass Boston. As the first half winds down, Owls are down 1-0, but Dennis Fleming clips a beautiful ball over the top, and Brandon Komeyer sneaks in the side foot home and tie the score. Then with less than 20 minutes left in the game, the ball bounces to Fleming at the top of the area, and he slams home the volley to give the Owls the lead. At number five, we delve into winter sports in a game that happened just last week. Keen State taking on longtime New Hampshire rival Plymouth State. The Owls were down 29-27 at halftime, but Mason Jean Baptiste explodes for 21 in the second half. Jean Baptiste was 6 for 8 from the floor in the second half and made 5 of 6 three-point shots and all four of his free throws en route to a career-high 24 as the Owls roll in this one 86-62. Staying indoors but moving to volleyball, we have Keen State's incredible comeback against Eastern Connecticut on October 2nd. The Owls were down two sets to one, but rallied in the fourth for a 25-23 victory. In the fifth and final set, Keene State jumped out to a 7-1 lead and never looked back, taking the set 15-8 in the match 3-2. At number three, it's the first of many slam dunks from Jeff Hunter. In the season opener against Colby Sawyer on November 9th, the Owls turned defense into offense. Jarek Seashawn picks up the loose ball and finds Nate Seow, who floats the perfect pass up for Hunter, who slams down with authority as the Owls go on to win. 85 to 60. At number two, it's Jackie Alabrandi coming through clutch for the Keene State women's basketball team. Against Middlebury on November 14th, Alabrandi and the Owls were down three with 4 tenths of the second remaining, but the sophomore comes off the screen, takes the inbound pass, and drills the three to send the game to overtime. And our number one play of the year, a pair of milestone wins for two KSC coaches. Sarah Testo stepped into some big shoes when she was named head coach of the Keene State women's soccer team and picked up her first win of the year with a come-from-behind victory over Westfield State on September 16th. Alex, Ken Alex Kennedy's penalty kick in the 39th provided the difference for the Owls and led to a Gatorade bath for Testo later. Men's basketball coach Ryan Kane needed three wins to get number 100 coming into the season and his team obliged with an 86-77 win over Middlebury College on November 16th behind five players in double figures. We also want to acknowledge a couple of moments that we were not able to get video for but were nonetheless important. These include swimmers Kylie Young and Alice Lucraft hitting some of the fastest times in Keaton State history for swimming and diving, and senior Shannon Parks breaking a 20-year-old record in the weight throw. We also want to acknowledge the accomplishments of our cross-country team which had three all-conference performers. It's been quite a semester. We want to thank you for watching, listening, and following along with Keaton State Athletics. We're looking forward to another set of top plays next semester. Have a happy and healthy holiday season. We'll be back in January. And for Inside Owl Athletics, I'm Quinn Kimmel.